Drew here, and this book by Leanne Moriarty, I haven't read it, but my wife swears by it. I think it's one of her favorites. I think she really likes Leanne Moriarty, and she's read pretty much all her books, and this is the one she enjoyed the most. So I'm definitely pretty excited for this adaptation. Uh, I feel that it would be hard for it to go wrong. It has an insane cast. So let's see what this trailer looks like. You here for the 10 day retreat, us 2.0? I certainly am. Apparently I'm in need of some fixing. I just watched Identity Thief, so. To turn Quillen House. It's a little hard to take Melissa the McCarthy come, seriously. They come to heal. What a cast. You're already suffering. What accent is that? Breakfast, 7. Lunch, noon. Dinner, 7.30. And how many guests are there? Nine total. Oh, Tiffany Boone. Wellness retreats? It's such utter crap. And yet here you are. <laughs> it's insane. Right, let's go meditate. The actors they got in this. I want you all now. <laughs> Close your eyes. You want to get well? You want to heal? Surrender Is this show really about me. therapy, though? Like, what's the pitch? I am going to fix you. So, what's your story? I have one. Everybody has a story. I mean... That's why she picked us. What do you mean she picked us? We complement each other's demons. This isn't... I'm not sure I'm really supposed to be here. Mm -hmm. My vote is give this thing a shot. Open up a new door. Some doors are meant to stay closed. Yeah, it could be a real show. What the hell do I know, right? This is, this is particularly volatile. Cool. I mean, it, it looks well I shot. The protocol and stuff. I don't think they're ready. <laughs> it's perfectly safe. I'm is it feeling though? unlike myself. The wheels starting to fall off. Oh. She picked nine people who needed to be in a place where they would try anything she wanted. Have you all gone mad? <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing to I mean, fear. They're ratcheting up the because intensity. This? And something bad is gonna happen, surely, but it, it just it's Masha bad or is she the real deal? This is all I need. So I have really mixed feelings about that. Like I'm 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 confident that it's probably pretty good just because my wife typically I like the stuff that she would like, but I, what is the what's the pitch like I, I get that you know David E. Kelly he's kind of turned sophisticated soap into this thing that you know he's made really really watchable shows like The Undoing and Big Little Lies which was also based on a novel by Leanne Moriarty uh, but here it's like okay it's great actors I mean Michael Shannon Luke Evans Nicole Kidman I mean Regina Hall all these great actors uh, I'm not even listing some great actors that are in this, uh, Samira, uh, Samara Weaving. So great actors, but like, what's, what's the concept? Like, it's like therapy. Um, I mean, I don't know. It looks very, very well shot. And I am, like I said, I have a hard time imagining that this is not going to hit the like little fires everywhere, big little lies crowd right in their sweet spot and become like everyone's next obsession. Uh, and I'm definitely going to watch it and review it on this channel. Uh, but I'm just a little confused, like, what what the story is. Like, what is it wanting us to get excited about? I feel like, obviously, the pedigree of everyone involved is, you know, something that would inspire a lot of confidence in this. But, uh, you know, it's, it's interesting. You know, you've got Melissa McCarthy, two-time Oscar nominee. But like I said, you know, she she definitely has a lot of emotional depth as an actress, but most people I feel like associate her with her uh, raucous comedies. And uh, I'm not sure if Nicole, I mean, Nicole Kidman could do this type of role in her sleep and at least 
This seems like a, a substantially different character than a lot of the ones she's been playing. Uh, I, I wasn't really able to make out what accent she was going for. I think maybe Russian. Uh, so I'm interested to see this for sure, but I, I was expecting maybe a little bit more of a pitch like in this trailer to make it seem more gripping right off the bat. And I feel like it was a little bit like, okay, this will probably be good, but what's it really about? Like, I, I get that like the concepts of these shows don't always make for succinct synopsises, but I would have liked a little bit of a better read on this than I feel like I got. But like I said, I, I have a really hard time imagining that this is not going to be the next big thing. But uh, it'll be interesting. I'm wondering if Hulu, they'll probably do a weekly release. And I know a lot of people prefer the binge, but I feel like this seems like something where a weekly release is probably the way to go. That worked really well for Little Fires Everywhere. So we'll see. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments. Let me know if you're interested in watching this. Uh, if you've read the book, let me know if you, what you think of the casting choices. Uh, and if you prefer a weekly release or a binge, let me know what your thoughts are on that. I personally feel that it depends on the show and this type of show I like the weekly release more because it gives me more time to digest and to you know discuss things with you in the comments so that's my take but let me know what you think uh, if you're interested in seeing upcoming videos on this channel reactions to different trailers and reviews for uh, this show and other shows please consider subscribing and as always thanks for watching